hi and welcome again with our second video as we said we are talking about asp.net core mvc with entity framework uh, so today will be our uh, second video uh, as we said we'll create small application we'll show you how to uh, to uh, create uh, your connection string how to install entity framework uh, how to create your classes we'll use the repository button and uh, We'll see uh, step by step what we will uh, do. So our plan for today is uh, this uh, three part or I will try to create the, our database. Uh, actually our database will be, let's show you just how will be our database. It will be our uh, three tables, uh, SQL Server database will be th uh, three tables. Uh, first one will be student table uh, with the uh, following uh, uh, field student ID will be primary key uh, first name last name date of birth and gender ID registration date and status uh, second table will be gender uh, here will be uh, will take male or female just I want to show you how to use the drop down list not nothing more than this uh, gender will never be table like this uh, so second uh, table let's uh, call this two table let's call them control table okay they just will be added once only no more we'll add male female once and maybe courses same we'll add maybe math English I don't know all courses and finish no more but I think this one should be tables but uh, genders no okay uh, let's go to enrollment uh, this table let's say when the student register for courses so i will get enrollment's id he can sure he will can uh, register more than more than one uh, course so we'll have enrollment id student id course id we'll get it from here and start in dates uh, i don't know what i can put maybe you can put more fields in the future we'll see what what we need and that's it it's very easy just uh, the main purpose of this video just to show you how to uh, use entity framework with uh, uh, asp.net uh, core so uh, first things we need to open our uh, sql server to create this database we'll use sure we'll use uh, uh, let's say okay let's use uh, database first approach I will not use Visual Studio after that to create my database. No, I will create my database first. I want to get back to you how you like to uh, to use which uh, approach. This back to you. So let's call it uh, student uh, DB. Okay. Mm, okay, that's it. Let's create our first table. Our first table. Oh, let's create from the diagram will be better okay open new diagram okay don't have any tables now first table new table so we'll call it student this first table so what we have there first one student sorry i d it will be int okay and it will be same time primary key uh, don't forget to put it uh, from here let's say it's increment I need to always uh, increment one one so after that I think we have first name will be in bar char let's say okay last name same will be in bar char 50 I think 50 enough uh, after that what we have here date of birth date of birth will be date only after I think will be gender gender ID gender ID should be this gender ID same int here same uh, this field here nothing different because this different will be I, I couldn't I will, will 
we can't make relation between these two tables, okay? That's why I think there too. Last one, what do we have there? Uh, comes here. Status. Status here. What mean the stat What we we mean with this one? We mean uh, maybe we can put the. Uh, let's say if he said uh, the student this is is uh, currently a uh, postgraduate or undergraduate or graduated. Yeah, just with his status about this student. Let's say this uh, first one. Okay. Save it. Diagram. Okay. Second table. Second table. Answer this one. Genders. Genders. Uh, gender ID will be into but it's primary key same as this one. I need to comment here. So second one will be uh, gender name. Uh, I think enough then. Okay. This one. Let me run my list here. Save it. We need relation between the gender and gender ID here. Oh, just that. Okay, okay. Save it always. Yes. So our third table. Let's create courses. Okay, courses. I need same names. I don't need make any mistake with names so course D and what we have here course name and the credit uh, course name but here don't forget it's int and make it Primary key and put that increment and credit credit it's here bar char or credit credit to be yeah bar char ten enough okay that one here save okay Now I need enrollment. So student, he can register more than on more than one course. So it'll be one, two more, or two money. Sorry, sorry, one two money. So I have one student. He can register more more than one course. So I need enrollment. Create a new table. Okay. Enrollment ID. But here it will be end primary key again make increment from here second one I need I think here we need student ID student ID will be end same as this one I think different and same I need this course Okay, so be into same type that I type here. Okay, and after that, we have start and int start. Uh, start. Okay. That. So when this course will start, when this course will date of start and date of end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that's it. And now we need to make relation between this to uh, between this table. Let's say uh, from a student from enrollment table to student table. Okay, on a student ID here. Okay, and same time between course and 
control mount mm -hmm. that's it I, I don't need, need any change anything here maybe in future we'll talk about these things okay I think that's enough for our database we don't need to take more time on this one so <coughs> sorry uh, <coughs> second thing is that open uh, our visual studio and create a new project I think let's stop this video here and <coughs> start second video we'll talk about visual studio how to use uh, how to to uh, create uh, a project in visual studio and we'll talk about uh, everything step by step see you in the next video